Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Background panel lets you apply a background to the pages of your book. You can use a photo, a graphic design, or a color as a page background. To apply a page background, select one or more pages from the image display area. To apply the background to all the book's pages, check the Apply Background Globally checkbox that appears at the top of the panel. Selecting this option does not apply the background to the book's covers. To apply a background to an individual page, uncheck this checkbox and then select the page to which to apply the background in the image preview area. To choose a background layout, click the small drop-down to the right of the layout image in the panel. Then select a background category from the three choices at the top of the Add Background Graphic pop-up menu that appears. Your choices are Photos, Travel, or Wedding. Then select the specific layout to use from your selected category from the choices that appear at the bottom of the pop-up menu. If you selected Photos as your category choice and then chose the only layout available in that category, you can then drag and drop a photo from the film strip onto the Drop Photo Here Layout placeholder that appears in the background panel. To add the photo as the page background, to remove the photo, right-click it in the placeholder, and then choose the Remove Photo command. Also note that your choice interacts with your page layout choice from the page panel in that you must have a page layout that doesn't completely obscure the page background in order to see changes to the page background. For example, if you chose the One Photo Full Page Layout, you wouldn't see the background at all, making your choices in the background panel useless. For page backgrounds that have graphics, including pictures, you can toggle the display of the graphics on and off by checking or unchecking the graphic checkbox in the background panel. You can also set the opacity of these graphics by using the opacity slider in this panel. For graphics that are preset with the background layout, meaning not photos, you can also click the color chip in this section of the panel to select a graphics color from the graphic pop-up color box that appears. You can also choose the page background color by checking the background color checkbox in the background panel. Then click the adjacent color chip to select the desired page background color from the background color pop-up color box. Note that you cannot change the opacity of this color, however. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.